we going right now? Are we live? Right now. Oh. All right, so this is the MSI GP63 Leopard 8RE. What you're going to need to do the tear down, pretty simple stuff. Plastic spudger, Phillips head screwdriver, guitar pick, weed weed. Those things where you realize all the embarrassing things you say, but it doesn't matter. Uh, when I like to remove the screws here, I like to put them in the same pattern, or at least mock the pattern of the laptop that I took them out of. And I don't forget where they're going, just in case there's any different size screws. My size pretty good, and they're usually all the same size anyways. Thanks for that. Factory seal. Get that out of here. <coughs> Same size, same doesn't matter. I think some as I did look at them out. Get these screws out of the way since they're all the same size. That way we don't risk scratching any top panels, setting this thing down, flipping it over, all that good stuff. Alright, let's we'll start the process of popping this guy open. Guitar pick. most difficult part about these is going to be the back. Getting this back to release is a pain. Sometimes you got to really get up in here. Hopefully I don't break another guitar pick. That would be a shame. There we go. Just to get a little, a little lift on this maybe. Nope, it still hates me. Okay. You should release this side first. Again, if you look at it though, you'll see that there's no plastic that surrounds these ports here. But on the other side, you'll see that it has these plastic that comes around these ports. So, releasing this side first is important. So you just gotta work with it. <laughs> work with it until it works with you. All right, I'm just gonna keep working with this thing, finally get it off super annoying again these are gonna kind of like hook around all these connections over here so it needs to come up like so basically it looks exactly like what is that the GP73 or GE73 or both of them it looks like the same motherboard and everything giant hard drive brand new Intel NIC so that's cool battery easily removable in case you need to replace this thing. Uh, we got your M.2 slots here. Looks like there's a heat pad under here that's kind of got a little heat into it. Okay, multiple heat pads. One for your controller, one for the memory, which isn't there. So most likely they're giving you the second heat pad, which you can transfer it over to this side over here. When you put in a second SSD, they do support NVMe RAID from our testing, so that's good. All these new MSIs, put that back in here. This is just a normal SATA drive in here right now. It does support NVMe in both this slot and this slot. Um, this slot is a combo slot, so it does SATA and uh, NVMe, which is nice. Look at this hard drive. give you these pull tabs and they're sticky down for some reason or another. Remember it's a lift tab not a pull tab. Mm, yeah it's a lift tab. But why is it sticky down like that? It's super annoying. Anyway, lift tab pulls out. It's a big fat drive 9.5 millimeter. So yeah you put a two terabyte in here. Sticking it back down. Pretty much it. Inside of your memory, memory is pretty standard, 32 gigs. I know that some of these were shipping with 2666 in them. This is probably 2400. Let's check it out. What do we have here? 2400. Yeah, Samsung. There we go. Not bad. Same easy thing that you would always expect with memory. Just make sure it lines up, put it in at that 30 to 45 degree angle. Clip it down. Pretty simple stuff. 
We do have these speakers that have a pattern on them. Again, I don't understand the point of that. You don't see them. They're inside the laptop. Just a trackpad under there, nothing too crazy. Again, that trackpad is like adhered, so replacing that trackpad is basically impossible without replacing the entire keyboard deck. It would come attached if you got a replacement, most likely. The CMOS battery, this little guy right here. You do have a separate little board over here that connects via cable, so that's gonna be your USBs and your SD reader, SD card reader. Over here is actually where your monitor connects or your screen that's in the unit, so getting that out is obviously gonna be a pain. You'll have to remove this entire heatsink assembly. Uh, this is gonna be your GPU, that's your CPU. If you wanna remove that, you'll see it's numbered pretty much everywhere. You just need to follow the pattern and remove those. Uh, we're not going to do that in this video today. It's not a full teardown like that. We really only need to mess with that if for some reason you need to replace your screen or if your temperatures are bad and you need to repaste. Uh, outside of that, that's pretty much the end of it. Just put it back together. I'm a no man. Again, make sure that you get these seated around the side. You see how these kind of like slot in there? That's important. Make sure that's done. it back together. That's from where clips break. It's pretty much impossible to Not avoid. A clip or two. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's molded plastic. It's I don't know. It's not very friendly. Big factory seal. It is gigantic. I know. It makes it look terrible when you pop it. I don't really like that. We've had a lot of people ask about the factory seal and breaking in if you can really do that based on our last comments saying that yeah. you could like major damage inside the unit like I said they can't tell you no right if it's broken right that's like legit that's why they changed it from like void warranty to factory seal they're just trying to fool people right they just changed the wording so it still seems like oh you shouldn't do that it's a right. no-no and really if you don't know what you're doing you really should so that's fair mm -hmm. in my mind you know as long as it doesn't look like yeah. somebody tore it up. I mean, as long as you haven't gone inside, and if there's no broken things inside the laptop, that's what's important. Yeah. You know, if they, like, open it up and you messed up and <laughs> broke a clip or something like that, then, yeah, they're going to say, well, you've obviously damaged the equipment at this point. Physical damage isn't covered. This could be caused by physical damage. Um, so if you do go inside the laptop, just make sure you don't break something. I mean, that's, like, number one. Make sure you take your time when you're inside. That's for sure. That uh, sounds like a little innuendo, but that was not <laughs> intentional. The camera guy is uh, <laughs> getting a kick out of that one. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the uh, MSI GP63 Leopard 8RE, and that's it. That's the whole thing. Voila.